Time for Rethinking Retirement and Marvin Mitchell, founder and president of Compass Retirement Solutions, joining us today. Marvin, we're diving into social security. What are the most common questions that most people ask about social security? Uh, well, when should I take my social security is probably the most common. Um, can I still work mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and receive social security benefits? What happens when I die is the most common. So I'll answer some of those and maybe even throw in a bonus for you. Um, so as far as when you should take your Social Security, there are so many factors. Um, we had someone come in the other day and he, he wanted to wait to take his Social Security. He retired early at 61. He wanted to wait until he was age 67 to take his benefits. But he was pulling out on a $500,000 portfolio, he was pulling out $45,000 per year. And I said, that's dangerous. At that rate, you're going to run out of money. Mm -hmm. So it made more sense to actually take the Social Security when he could at 62 because the market's going down. We don't want him to pull out too much money and compound his loss. So thankfully, he followed my advice on that. Um, but also, you want to think about what is your condition uh, when it comes to what's your health? If your health isn't the greatest, um, you know, I know we don't want to think these things, but why are you waiting until 70 to take Social Security benefits? You need to enjoy your life as much as you can mm -hmm. right now. And then, of course, there are some cases where it makes sense to wait um, because if you're, if you're married and you're the higher income earner, you only get to keep one of those checks when a spouse passes away. So you might as well make the highest income earner's check as much as it can be during that particular time. And another question a lot of people consider is, can I still work if I'm receiving Social Security? Yes, that's a great question. So can I still work? The answer is yes but be very careful. Now, once you're full retirement age, 66 or 67, you can make as much money as you want to. You can make 300,000, I don't care how much it is, Social Security is not impacted. Mm -hmm. But if you're under full retirement age, let's say you're 62 or 63, you'll get penalized 50% for every dollar above around $18,000, so be very careful. I wanna throw you one bonus um, tip. Um, if you were married, let's say you were married for 10, 10 years or more, and you get divorced. Understand that as long as you were married for 10 years or more and you're not remarried, you can actually claim your spousal benefits from that ex-spouse. So if you're making, let's say, 36,000, that person makes 36,000 and you stayed at home, that's 50% of that is around 18,000, so that's mm. gonna be a lot more. And that person can get divorced three or four times to three different men or women during that time frame. And as long as they were married 10 times each, they each can claim off that person's Social Security benefits without it impacting that person's Social Security. Yeah. So there are so many things that Social Security, little hidden rules that you really don't know about. So if you really want to know more secrets and more information on how you can benefit, uh, I recommend you, rec you go ahead and read my book, Retire Early. And you can request that at no cost by simply going to rethinkingretirement.net on your browser and just requesting the information. That's rethinkingretirement.net. A lot of important questions where you can get answers right there. All right, Marvin, thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate right. you too. I'm Dan Gray.